Welcome to another edition of Tech Help with Richard Rost. That's me, Richard Rost. Brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. Today we're going to talk about rounding a number to the nearest 10. And you can use this technique to round to the nearest 100, 1,000, 5, whatever number you want. Jose asks, what function can I use to round 168 to 170? Basically rounding to the nearest 10. Well, you can use the round function, R-O-U-N-D. Um, unfortunately, round doesn't by itself give you the ability to round to a particular number, but with a little bit of math, you can do just that. The round function takes one, actually two parameters. One is the number you want to round. The second thing is how many decimal points. So with a little bit of math, we can round to zero decimal points and still accomplish what we want to accomplish. Okay, some data. Here's a basic customer table. I added a field here called visits with some numbers in it, number of visits they've made to the office or whatever. All right, 55, 143, 245. And we want to round these to the nearest 10 for whatever reason. So I've already made the query, and here we go. All right, X, there's the number of visits. That's just to make my formula smaller. All right, R is the number we're going to round to. I put that right in the query, and I'll show you all these functions of the math in just a second. Here's rounding to the nearest 10. All right, so there's 60. 143 becomes 140. Two becomes a zero, right, rounded down. 45 becomes a 40. Now, Axis uses something called banker's rounding, which I have a whole other video on banker's rounding, which if you're curious, basically what it means is if this number here, if the first digit is odd, it rounds up. If it's even, it rounds down. And that's, bankers use that so that if you round everything that's 0.5 up, then eventually that gets favored mathematically. But if you do the odd numbers one way and the even numbers the other way, then you get what's called banker's rounding. And I'll show you how to avoid banker's rounding. If you want to make it so it always is just 0.5, always gets rounded up, I'll show you the, the function for that. There's round down, right? Round the number down to the nearest 10. And here's always round up to the nearest 10. All right, let's take a look at the code. Here's the formulas right down here. All right, there's X is my number of visits. R is the 10, that's whatever number you want to put in there. All right, round to the nearest, round down. Let me make it so you can see all these at once here. Round up, and I'll copy and paste these in the description field below so you don't have to type them in off the video. All right, and there's the no bankers, and that one's a little bit longer, there we go. Basically what we're doing here, all right, to round the nearest is we're saying, okay, take the number, whatever it is, right, divide it by r and then round it and then multiply it by r so basically you're going to take the number divide it by 10 round it and round it to the nearest zero decimal places and then multiply it by 10 so 5 uh, 55 for example will become 5.5 round that and then multiply it by 10 again and it's that's basically how you do it rounding down instead of using the round function we'll use the int function that basically says okay take the number divide it by 10 use the int function then which int basically just chops off the fractional point okay it just everything after the decimal point goes away then you multiply it by r again rounding up does the same thing but you're, we're using the negatives and then no bankers basically adds a tiny little fractional component there 0. 0.00001 to the number itself that way that 0. 0.5 is always just slightly higher than 0. 0.5 it's not exactly 0. 0.5 so it avoids the bankers rounding and then when you put it all in there, you get the right values. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. If you like getting tips like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon, ring the bell. Make sure you get notifications whenever I release a new video. If you got a question you want to see answered right here, visit my tech help page and post it there. You can also email me, but the tech help page is better. Make sure you find my Access Learning Zone discussion group on Facebook. There's my email address. Here's all my other links, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, my blog. I'll put all this stuff in the description below. And of course, a tiny little bit of advertising. You can watch my free Access Level 1 course right here on YouTube. It's three hours long, absolutely free. And if you like it, Level 2 is just $1. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.